Simplicity, sincerity, purity, and divinity. A lecture given by spiritual master Sri Chin Moy, Melbourne, Australia, 10th of March, 1976. Dear seekers, dear sisters and brothers, let us try to be simple. Simplicity is a simple word but everyone knows how difficult it is to become simple in life. Each time a seeker becomes simple in his life activities, in his life achievements, in his life successes, he feels that he has achieved self-discovery. And each time he becomes complex or complicated in his nature, he feels that God realization is a far cry. A simple heart runs fast, faster, fastest towards the goal. In the seeker's list of life desires, when one item is removed and the list becomes more simple, the seeker gets an abundance of inner illumination. Let us all try to become sincere. Sincerity is unparalleled in the spiritual life. Each time a seeker tells a lie, in order to justify the lie, he will tell 10 more lies. And each time he tells a lie, he consciously gets an additional burden on his shoulders. The seeker has to run fast, faster, fastest towards his destination. If he is carrying something heavy on his shoulders, he can never go fast. Sincerity expedites our journey. Sincerity shortens the road. Sincerity offers us a shortcut to our goal. He who is sincere is bound to discover his reality self infinitely sooner than the person who is not sincere. A child's sincerity conquers the heart of all human beings. A sincere heart conquers the length and breadth of the world. A sincere seeker sees, feels and realises that God manifestation can never remain a far cry. There are people who say that spirituality is nothing short of mental hallucination, nothing but building castles in the air. But a sincere heart knows and feels that spirituality is something spontaneous and natural for the source, the ultimate source, which is God, is natural and simple. Therefore, at every moment, right from the journey start, the sincere heart feels that his is the way and his is the goal, the destined goal. Let us all try to become pure. Purity is nothing short of self-expansion. It is inside our purity that we see the real self of all. Purity expands and enlarges our consciousness. The whole world we can claim as our own, our very own, when we have a pure heart. If we do not have a pure heart, we can never claim anything as our very own. Inside our purity existence, we see our oneness light, our universal oneness. When we do not have purity, we feel a sense of separativity. Each time we are wanting in purity, we feel that there is nothing on earth that can satisfy us. But when purity enters into us, we feel that our entire being is surcharged with light. There is no darkness, either within or without. Our whole being is flooded with light and delight. He who has purity feels God's loving breath at every moment, and his life's multifarious activities offer him fruitful realities. He opens his eyes, he observes the beauty of nature, and he adores it. He closes his eyes 
and in the inmost recesses of his heart, he observes the inner beauty. With outer beauty, he fulfills the outer realities. With his inner beauty, he fulfills the inner realities. It is he who sees the world of illumining vision and fulfilling reality. God's silence life and God's sound life he claims as his own, very own. The seeker then dives deep within and enters into the world of divinity. There he sees God as soul reality. There he sees God in his infinite manifestations, which are both sound life and silence life. In this world of divinity, the seeker accepts everything as a form of God's manifestation. Today's world is far from perfect, but inside each material object, each creation of God, he sees and hears the message of ultimate perfection. The seeker who sees divinity in unmistakable terms inside each creation of God, notices the sea of perfection in each human nature, in each human life. Divinity is the source. When the seeker is fully aware of his source, he feels like a running river going towards the universal sea of aspiration. The seeker's divinity makes him constantly conscious of the promise he made to the Absolute Supreme before he entered into the world arena. At that time, he made a solemn promise that he would manifest the Absolute Supreme here on Earth. Realization, revelation, manifestation and perfection. These divine achievements are what the seeker of the highest Absolute Truth achieves in the course of time. In the process of his own evolution, at God's choice hour, he embodies, reveals and manifests God here on earth. As he learns many things, the seeker of the highest truth also unlearns many things in the course of his journey. What are the things that he unlearns? He unlearns fear, doubt, anxiety, jealousy, insecurity. He unlearns the teachings of the earthbound life, of the sophisticated mind with its disproportionate ego. He unlearns everything that the physical world has taught him. He comes to realize that the physical mind, which is full of doubt and suspicion, has taught him quite a few things which are standing in the way of his God realization. Each time he uses his mind, he sees clearly that the mind is creating an additional obstacle on his way. Therefore, he tries to unlearn everything that the physical mind has taught him, and he uses an illumined mind. This illumining and illumined mind comes into existence in his life only when he becomes a loving and aspiring heart. In his loving and aspiring heart, he sees the effulgence of his soul. The soul's effulgence illumines his heart totally. Then the heart brings this effulgence of light into the mind and illumines the mind. When the seeker's mind is illumined, the seeker receives and achieves peace in boundless measure. This boundless peace the mind brings into the vital strengthening the vital. There comes a time when the illumined mind is successful in transforming the restless, destructive vital. The illumination of the mind changes the aggressive vital into the dynamic vital. Then the illumining and revealing vital enters into the lethargic physical body, the body that enjoys wallowing in the pleasures of lethargy, darkness and ignorance. For countless years, 
this physical existence of ours did not care for the inner light. It wanted to remain with ignorance life and swim in the sea of ignorance. But after some time, the illumining and illumined vital enters into the emotional physical. Slowly, steadily and unerringly, our physical existence is transformed and illumined and becomes a perfect instrument of God. When the body existence of the seeker's physical reality becomes a perfect instrument of God, God manifestation becomes an elevating, illumining and fulfilling experience in the seeker's body. The seeker's very presence illumines and inspires those who happen to be around him. At this point, the seeker realizes that each thought of his reality existence is a world of its own. Previously, when he was living in the desire life, he was not aware of thought power. But now he sees that when he was in the desire life, each thought destroyed a real divinity in him. Each thought was a form of destruction, conscious or unconscious. Each thought wanted him to maintain a sense of separativity or wanted him to lord it over others. Each thought made him feel that his was the life of superiority. His was the life of supreme authority. Now the seeker sees in each thought a world of divine creation, a world of illumination, a world of perfection. Each thought creates in him a world of progress, a world of satisfaction. And each time he grows into the satisfaction tree, he feels the ultimate absolute Lord, author of all good, showering his choices blessings upon his illumined mind, aspiring heart and self-giving life. Simplicity, sincerity, purity and divinity. With sincerity, the seeker starts his journey and with divinity, the seeker completes his journey. But the journey never ends. The goal is an ever transcending reality. Each time the seeker reaches a goal, that goal becomes the starting point of a higher, brighter, more illumining and more fulfilling experience and reality. The seeker starts with simplicity and goes along the road of sincerity, purity and divinity. Inside divinity, at every moment, he realizes a goal, a goal that is constantly transcending its own infinity, eternity and immortality.